Hello, my name is Lauren and I'm a storyteller um, and I'm a storyteller at the Village Storytelling Centre. But I'm here today with sustainability first and I'm here today to talk to you and to share a story with you all about waste and particularly about clothing waste. Now, I'm wearing all of these nice, lovely clothes and you're all wearing your nice, lovely clothes. Perhaps you're in school uniform right now or maybe you're somewhere else and you're wearing something else. But do you know what happens to your clothes before you got them? And do you know what's going to happen after you grow out of them? You're all growing right now and you will grow out of your clothes. The thing is about your clothes is they might not be done when you have grown out of them. So where do they go? Do we put them in the bin and then they spend hundreds of years in landfill? That's not the best thing for them. So can we pass them on to someone else? Charity shops are a great place to give clothes to, but can you pass them on to someone else that you know? Well, here's a story that's about someone called a tailor. And a tailor is someone who makes clothes. Well, this tailor was called Godiva. And Godiva was the best tailor for miles and miles around. And she made the most beautiful and wonderful items of clothing. She used the most gorgeous fabrics with bright colours, pinks and blues and greens and yellows and purples and she used lovely thick warm materials like tweeds, she used cotton and she used silks to add some beautiful flourishes. Well, she made so many items of clothing for other people that sometimes she forgot to make clothing for herself. And this was one of those days. She was feeling a bit cold and she realised she didn't even have a nice, thick, warm coat. So she decided that she was going to make one. Well, she selected her colour and she selected the material and she selected the lining material. She was going to use tweed, a nice, thick, lovely, warm tweed. And she used some satin and velvet to make it all lovely and soft inside. And it was thick and warm. And oh my goodness, this coat was going to last for such a long time. Well, she took the material to her studio and she began to cut and sew and cut and sew and cut and sew. And after a long day's cutting and sewing, she had finished her coat and she buttoned it all up and turned up her neck to keep out the cold and she looked herself in her coat and oh, she looked fabulous. It was so lovely and warm and soft and thick and she just knew it was going to last for a long time. Well, she put it on and she went outside and do you know what? People were giving her lots and lots of compliments and she appreciated the compliments but the most important thing for her was that it felt great and it looked great and she knew exactly where it came from which was also great. Well, she wore that coat day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out for many, many years. Because she was an adult and she wasn't growing anymore. So she wore it for many, many years until it started to look a little bit worn and frayed around the bottoms. And she thought, I'll mend it. So she gave it a little mend here and there and she put patches on where it needed to be patched. And she wore it a little bit more, day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out. And then she loved the coat even more that way. But after another few years, she realised that actually it wasn't looking great anymore and she had to do a serious mending job. And so she took it back to her studio and she began to 
cut and sew and cut and sew and cut and sew and by the time she had finished cutting and sewing she had turned the coat into a lovely short jacket like a blazer and it was a beautiful jacket the same lovely material beautiful tweed with velvet and silk on the inside and she felt like a million dollars she walked out in that lovely blazer oh yes walking along in my blazer and people were giving her compliments left right and center and she was very appreciative of the compliments oh godiva you look amazing oh godiva lovely blazer oh godiva nice coat and she was very happy to hear these compliments but she loved how the jacket looked and felt and she loved that it was soft and warm and she knew it was going to last and so she wore it day in day out day in day out day in day out day in day out for a long time for many years in fact and then when the elbows got worn out, she patched them up, put some nice patches in the elbows, patched up the shoulders and wore it again for a little bit longer. Day in, day out, day in, day out. Until she decided, she realised that in fact, it was time to make something else out of this jacket. So she went back to her studio and she started to cut and sew and cut and so and cut and so until she had made the most fantastic waistcoat and she put three buttons on this waistcoat and she looked just the very dab she really did and she went out in her fancy new waistcoat and people were giving her compliments again oh good day man. another new thing oh it's been years since you've had been wearing that jacket. Oh, Godiva, lovely waistcoat. Nice waistcoat, Godiva. Nice waistcoat, Godiva. And Godiva walked around in her nice waistcoat and she felt amazing. And she knew that she had saved this, her coat, her, and, and, or saved her coat from the landfill because it had become her jacket. She'd saved her jacket from the landfill because it had become her waistcoat. And she wore it day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out, until... The same thing happened to the waistcoat. It started to get little holes in it, which she mended and she mended and she patched and she patched. But after a few years again, the waistcoat was getting threadbare. And so she went back to her studio and she started to cut and sew and cut and sew and cut and sew until she made the most fantastic hat. And this hat was so nice that she never took it off her head, barely at all, except to have a shower and things like that. So she went and she wandered around the streets with her nice hat. Sometimes she put a wee feather in it just to give it a nice flourish. And she loved that hat and the people all complimented on her hat. Nice hat, Godiva. Nice hat, Godiva. And it was fantastic. And she knew that she had saved the coat from the landfill because it turned into the jacket. She'd saved the jacket from the landfill because it turned into the waistcoat. She'd saved the waistcoat from the landfill because she'd made it into her lovely hat. And she was very, very happy about this. Well, after a good many years of wearing that hat, she knew that really it was time. There were patches in the hat that were threadbare. She was getting a wee draft into her head and that won't do really will it so she mended it as much as she could she wore it for a little bit longer but then she realized that she was going to have to take it back to her studio and so that is exactly what she did and for the last time in this story she cut and she sewed and she cut and she sewed and she cut and she sewed until she had made the most beautiful little button that you ever did see. Well, she fastened that button onto her trousers and she loved that button because she knew that she had saved the coat from landfill 
because it became the jacket. She saved the jacket from landfill because it became the waistcoat. She saved the waistcoat from landfill because it became the hat and she'd saved the hat from landfill because it became the button. And it really was the most splendid button that anyone had ever seen. And she wore it day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out until even the button was worn out. Well, the button was quite small and she realised that she didn't have enough material to make any new items of clothing. All that she could make from this little button was this story. And that is what she did. Well, that was the story of the tailor Godiva and her coat, which became her jacket, which became her waistcoat, which became her hat, which became her button. And she was a tailor and she did really, really well at saving things, making her own clothing and then making sure that it lasted. And when it was a little bit worn out, she didn't throw it away, she made something else out of it. So we're going to do a little game about this, okay? So everybody, can you just um, put your hand up just now? Right hand. Everybody put your hand up and down. And now I can't see that you're doing this, so I have to just trust that you're doing it. Okay, left hand up and down. Right hand and down and left hand up and down. You put your hand on your head and down. Put your other hand on your head and down. Put your hand on your ears. Other one and down. Put your hand on your nose. Finger on your nose, other finger on your nose, and down. Put your finger on your chin, and down. Put your hand, finger on your eyebrow, other eyebrow, and down. And give your hands a wee shake, and give your head a wee shake, and your shoulders a wee shake. Now, we're going to play a game, and I'm going to ask you to put your hand up. I'm going to say a little statement, a question, and if the answer is yes, I want you to put your hand up and look around and see whoever else is putting their hand up too, okay? So put your hand up if you've ever made an item of clothing. Okay, have a look around. Has people in your class made an item of clothing? Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Maybe it's something you might want to do in the future. Hands down. Hands up if you have ever mended something, mended an item of clothing. Yeah, some people might have. Maybe no one has, that's okay. Maybe that's something that you might learn to do in future. Hands down. Hands up if you've ever had an item of clothing that was yours and passed it on to someone else when you were done with it. Maybe you've grown out of it, maybe you weren't sure you liked it anymore but you knew someone else would like it. Maybe you gave it to a friend because you knew they liked it so much as a gift. Maybe you passed it down to a little brother or sister. Hands down. Now, hands up if you've been the recipient of the gift, if you have been passed on a piece of clothing by someone else. I definitely have lots and lots of things. Hands up if you have worn something that was your sister's. Hands down. Hands up if you've worn something that was your brother's. Hands down. Hands up if you've worn something that belonged to your cousin before. Definitely. Hands down. Hands up if you've worn something that used to be belong to your friend. Yeah. Hands down, this is a good one. Hands up if you've owned, if you've worn something that used to belong to your mum. I definitely have. My mum's got great clothes and she gives them to me when she's done, which is great for me. Hands up if you've worn something that belonged to your dad. Yep, definitely. Now this is a good one. Hands up if you've ever worn something that used to belong to your granny. Yeah, grandpa. Excellent. So what I want you to have a think about now, because you're going to do a writing exercise in just a minute. You're going to write a story. I want you to think about your favourite item of clothing. Now, that, this can be a real thing that you already own or something that you imagine. Maybe you've got this amazing jacket or a pair of shoes or football boots in your head and you, you, you can think of the story about them. I want you to think about this item of clothing and I want you to create a life for it. So who had it before you? 
and what did they do in it? Was this someone that you know or someone that you could make up? Maybe it's a famous person that had this item before you. Maybe the Queen owned it or maybe it was Cristiano Ronaldo or maybe it was a famous YouTube or TikTok star. And what did they, what adventures did they have in this piece of clothing? And then what about you? Have you loved this piece of clothing? Do you wear it all the time? Have you went for adventures in this? What have you done? And who, after you're done with it, are you going to pass it on to? And what kind of things will they do? Are you going to pass it on to a brother or a sister or a friend? Or are you going to pass it on? Are you going to send it off in the post to Lady Gaga? Or are you going to send it off to a famous person and maybe they'll be on... TV or they'll be on a Netflix show wearing your jumper or your shoes or something like that. So that's the beginning, the middle and the end. So I want you to write this story with the beginning, who had it before you, the middle, when you had it and what you did with it and the end of the story, where it went next, who it belonged to next and how it continued its life. Remember this item of clothing can be real, something you really own, or it can be imaginary. Well, I hope that you write some really great and really exciting stories. And all that's really left for me to say is thank you for listening to my story. And I want you to, to say thank you for in the future thinking about ways to keep clothing out of landfill. So thanks so much for listening and maybe I'll see you all soon in real life. Thanks so much.